Well, listen, let me tell you why I say I believe that the 49ers can still skate this game, man. Let's look at this, guys. Isn't this a different look than what we thought when we saw this on the schedule at the beginning of this season? Yeah. You were going to get Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, that whole group going up against the San Francisco 49ers defense. I was like, wow, I can't wait to see that game. I can't wait to see that game. I don't even know. I don't think we're going to see that game. You know, Joe Burrow and, and, and Jamar Chase and those guys, they haven't taken off like they took off in the first few years. First few years, I think it was like 55% on downfield passes. Right now, Joe Burrow, Burrow is only 35%. And, boy, there was nothing. Nothing more dangerous than that connection he had with Jamar Chase. So, so even though Brock Purdy's, Brock Purdy's out, Kyle Shanahan has been known to take all kinds of quarterbacks and put together a pretty good offense. Coming off that stinker they had last week, I'm putting this more on the defense to show up and take this game. Brock Purdy can sit on the sideline, Sam Dome come in and hand that ball off. This defense got to come snarling out and try to take back the man that they lost in last week's game by letting Kirk Cousin just disrag them any kind of way in all kinds of ways. So this game is about the 49ers defense, even if Brock Purdy's on the sideline. Mm. Yeah, I think when <clears throat> Brock Purdy's sitting in concussion protocol and Shanahan said, you know, we'll see, slight chance, maybe, maybe not. Right. The one thing that I would say in this situation, you mentioned it there, Michael, there is a Sam Darnold in the building. You said, what do you mean? Ah, the guys are horrible. No, that's not true. <laughs> this, that's not true at all. This mm. is the best offense that Sam Darnold will ever have. Uh, put it this way, the best offense that he's had in his right. entire NFL career with his stops in New York and his stops in Carolina. And so when you start to really break it down and you look in at it. In the best it, coach, in the best coach, Key, in the best coach by far. I was getting ready to get there. And the oh, best coach. Okay, okay, no, no, it's fine. Okay, okay, and no, it's all good. Okay, okay. And the best coach, Skip, right? He's had five <laughs> coaches in a short period of time in his career in six seasons on three different teams. From Todd Bowles, defensive-minded coach, Adam Gase. We should have just hired you, Skip, to call the plays in New York when he was there <laughs> with Adam Gase because you would have done – you would have been coach of the year, okay, based on him and been. what what he's done. Matt Rule, who was – yeah, probably not the right choice to be an NFL coach to begin with. Then he gets Steve Wilkes, another defensive-minded coach that gave him a little, little bit of a jolt in Carolina before he was dismissed of the head coaching duties for Frank Wright. Now, all of a sudden, you got a wizard in coaching in Kyle Shanahan. Yes, you look at it and you say plug and play with a guy like this. But when you have a – if Debo Samuel is healthy enough to come back and play, you got you can Kittle, you got Christian McCaffrey, you got a stud offensive line, and you do have a dominant right. defense, regardless to what happened right. against right. Minnesota. If you look at this team, the Minnesota Vikings, uh, Kirk Cousins in particular, he threw two interceptions. Even though the kid Addison took the ball from Ward and scored a touch, that's a pick. I'm crediting the defense for a pick. I'm giving that a pick to the defensive side. I am, no. Even though it didn't happen that way, I'm giving that to Kirk Cousins. There's two interceptions in that game. The defense didn't get to him nearly the harassing him and doing those sort of things. As I said to you yesterday, Skip, or I even said to you after the next day after the game, mm. the problem with Minnesota's offense against San Francisco's defense is the same problems that the Rams pre pre present for San Francisco right. every right. single time because it's the same yeah. exact yeah. Yeah. offense. So whatever yeah. that is, the challenge is, no matter who the coordinator is, whether it's Robert Sala or, 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 or it's Steve Wilkes or whomever calling the defense for San Francisco, they always struggle against that form of the West Coast system. So if hey, you're hey, sitting hey. there right. saying to yourself that, they're in trouble because they're playing the Cincinnati Bengals and potentially without Brock Purdy. Mm. I wouldn't do that so fast. Mm. I wouldn't get all happy right. and giddy. Y'all need to be worried about in Dallas, and I bring that up, Skip, right. because 
Okay. Y'all need to be worried about who y'all playing mm. and not sitting around I hoping did, that San Francisco get another loss Wait, this wasn't on their Cowboy record. Topic. How, why no, it's not. The because I know the way you think. Stop talking about it. I know the way you think. Thank you, you, Skip. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I know the way you think. Thank you, Skip. You can't help you. Thank you, Skip. Thank you. I just know the way you think. Skip, Skip. Skip, it was key. It was key. This is not a This is not a Cowboy Topic. I wasn't even going to mention that. I didn't bring I just said Cowboys. I didn't turn it into a topic. I just said y'all need to worry about that. But I'm just saying. hoping that this is a bad what, what, sign for the Niners. And well, no, and what we're discussing, what we're discussing, what all we're discussing is, is if the Niners are going to have a three-game slide here. That's what you were predicting the Cowboys to have. <laughs> yep. See, but we're just discussing that, if that the Niners are going predicting. to have it. Yep. That's Skip, what that's no, all we're that's asking. Skip, can we get can we get back to the question at hand about Bingo. the Niners? Skip, I'm gonna let you get yeah. it, Skip. You go ahead on, buddy. All right. and you go by, on. By the way, where does Sam Darnold play college football? I forgot. It, it, it has nothing to do with it. Oh, that. nothing to do it with it? No, okay, so uh, Mr. US. So you're gonna Trojans tell me, so you're gonna tell me. Mm. That the coaches that he had, mm. Todd Bowles, Adam Gase, Matt Rule, and the interim and Steve Wilkes, is the answer to a quarterback? Mm. That is not the answer to a QB. Kyle Shanahan's an answer to the quarterback. Mm. But th those names that I just gave you? Yep. Well, I was on record ahead of that draft. I said Baker Mayfield will be a little better than Sam Darnold. And I think I've been proven correct about that because Baker's only had seven coaches in six years. That, that's all seven. Baker Mayfield. He's had a bunch of uh, clown show coaches, too. Yeah, Baker Mayfield had more talent in Cleveland on a 53-man roster than mm. Sam Darnold's ever seen until he got to San Francisco. Mm. Jets weren't bad. They beat the Cowboys one time. He, he was the starting quarterback. The Jets the weren't bad. Mm. They won 24 to well, you, 22 at New York. But, but that's the Cowboys. The, the, okay. hey, guys, the question, gonna be, the question will be here now. Where, where, where Sam Donald gets on this football field, mm. he has to look like something. Are we, are we going to be saying, man, what, what's going on with Sam Donald? Does yeah, he even, we will. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. because all that you mentioned, Key, you're right. But now all of those questions are gone. This is a good football team. This is it's a good. great coach. Michael. All the things for him will be missed. So, so this is going to be a, if, if, a if, if Brock Purdy cannot go because of concussion protocol and it looks like he will not go, this is a great opportunity for him to step in with this pressure. team. And, and, and it's a lot of pressure. Ooh. It's a lot of pressure. But that's what Ke that's what Cal Shanahan is great at, is making sure yeah. that he disperses that pressure. I want to see what it looks like with yeah. this kind of talent at yeah, quarterback. Yeah, me too. I me, see what he it should be a world beater. Skip, me yeah. too. But you can't sit here, Skip, and tell me that a, quarter, a quarterback, let alone another position, just a quarterback, when you go through five different head coaches, umpteen offensive coordinators, and no real skill position players in New York that played with him, he was out there with a bag of trash at the skill position player. In fact, Corey Davis just recently retired from football, okay, that, that he was trying to throw the football to. <laughs> then when you look at Carolina, they took Christian McCaffrey from him and gave him to the 49ers. And they took him from Baker Mayfield, too. Uh, well, they did. Well, you stop. Okay, I'm no, no, you stop. No, come on, okay. Skip. Okay, I mean, he did have Robbie Anderson. Every time he looked up, he's throwing another bomb to Robbie Anderson. Because they had a relationship. They yeah. had a relationship that yeah. went back to New York. That was his That's only reliable saying. target yeah. at that point in time. All right. Before we proceed on this, I want to get both your takes on on how he got concussed in this game. Because again. Brock Purdy was allowed to play the whole game, and he never seemed mm. to wobble, and, and there's, right. there never seemed to be any question. But Kyle Shanahan did mention, did, did sort of acknowledge that the two quarterback sneaks that he ran in the fourth quarter could have mm. been Ooh. what did him in. So there's one, and he missed yeah. on the first one. He got the second one. He on. Here's the one on the second one that he got. Ooh. I think that's uh. still the first one, actually. Well, that but, first hit, that first one, that first he, one, he took a pretty good yeah, hit. There's in one it. where he got, and then the play right after this, you know what play comes very, right after this is this play comes. Right after the second quarterback sneak, he throws that pick. So was he a little mm. woozy? Was he a little wobble? I don't know. He might have been. Mm. But it's funny. We see Jalen Hurts Ooh. run that play like crazy, and Jalen never gets his head banged, right? He, he bangs Ooh, head. Right that's a little, but that's a little bit different than right the, there. the, the, the yep. uh, whatever they call it, the Philly 
tush push whatever or whatever. That's yeah. a little bit different. He's upright. He was. So as the defender's coming over his offensive hey. lineman, yeah. he hits the, the, the helmet, he hits the it. helmet, yeah. so it strikes right. unlike Jerry right Hurts, who's yeah. down, down in, in, the, yeah. in, the, yeah. in the pile. So maybe that is how he got it. I don't know. I mean, maybe that God. is how he got it. Yeah. yeah. I've never and, and, really. And we talked about this. We talked about this because so many people keep talking. They think it's just a bunch of guys pushing. There is a technique to it. And, and now, guys seeing this right that's here, true. there's no doubt. No, but that's true. No, that, that, that right yeah. there. It's true. No, the that reason play I laugh, right there, Michael, is why, because, why, you why said, that keep it? because you said there's a lot of technique to it. And then I thought about Minnesota twice. They tried what? it. It failed it's miserably miserable. both times. Right. In fact, right. one time they didn't even snap the ball. It's terrible. We we hey we we've been talking about we've been talking about all that Jim Harbaugh was doing. Somebody better tell Jim Harbaugh to get this piece of paper and get these techniques out to everybody else, yeah, yeah. so everybody can learn this tush push yeah. because you're gonna get somebody hurt doing that. And as a matter of fact, you just got Brock Purdy hurt, and you stop. I'm telling you, I would stop doing it. I'm not putting my quarterback in harm's way. So if that's what you about to ask me about, Skip, we're trying to copy something that obviously they have patent locked up and locked down, and you're putting your quarterback in harm way doing it. I, I, I'm not doing. It. Yeah, I'm and now good. it's hard for me to, to push for eliminating the tush push rules wise because they're, they're the only team that successfully does. If everybody could do the tush push, you'd say, right. well, let's let's outlaw it because it's just too easy. Well, to get Minnesota them. tried yeah. it, right, Skip? Yeah. They tried it twice. Well, I've and seen it looked a bunch like of teams disaster, try it. But they tried right. it yeah. against San right. Francisco. Did. And right. It looked like a disaster right. of a play design right. because you don't, first of all, and I said this as I was watching the game, I said, well, first of all, all you got to do is look at Kirk Cousins' backside <laughs> and then, no, seriously, yeah, and look at Jalen Hurst's <laughs> backside. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you that's ain't going to get no, no movement out of Kirk no, Cousins no. whatsoever <laughs> no. where Jalen Hurts is literally, along with Kelsey and company, moving the pile beyond the inches that they need. That is They're fact. gaining one and two yards yeah. on this because they got the technique, right. like Michael said. Right. They have that's executed it. Amazing. And yeah. if anybody else could execute it, they would. They would. All right, back to Cincinnati. I, I'm not sure where Keyshawn stands on this, but I, I understand what Michael is saying. They haven't looked like Cincinnati quite yet. I've seen fits and starts. I've seen flashes of brilliance. I still say that they're on the rise. They're, he's starting to get healthier and more confident pushing off on the calf that plagued him all through the preseason in the mm -hmm. first couple of games. I still say they're very dangerous because they're starting to feel better about themselves than they did for the first couple of games. So th this is a huge game for San Francisco only because, as Michael says, well, you don't want to lose three in a row at this point in the season, right? No, right, you don't. Right, you right, don't. Right, you do right. not want to lose three in a row. That, that is very clear. <laughs> And Cincinnati is, in my eyes, that's why you said to me, I'm not sure Keyshawn's, yeah, I, because I think they are headed in the right direction. Sure. They started to get the football right. to Jamar Chase. Right. Yeah. You can see the offense starting to come along and click, and they're starting right. to win and put drives together and score touchdowns and put points on the board. Here's what I would say. Right. Right. Again, for the umpteenth time, the Minnesota Vikings system, is a problem for San Francisco, where the Dallas Cowboys system is a problem for Minnesota. That is how it's done. It's just, it has nothing to do with right, the defensive side of the ball it, it, for San Francisco is much weaker than the offensive side of the ball for Minnesota. No, it's the matchups. It's what they do in chess pieces. If I know everything that, if I can predict everything that you're going to do based on film study, based on the opponents that you pay, played in the past that do the same things I do, I can then take advantage of you to the ump degree. And this is what Minnesota's been able to do. When you got eye candy and you're motioning guys around and you're doing different things, it affects the San Francisco 49ers, Skip. If you think about it, and I hate to bring it to the Cowboys, the Cowboys offense did none of that. Zero against San Francisco. So guess what? San Francisco sat back on their heels and dominated you. Mm -hmm. Where Minnesota, eye candy. The Rams, 
I candy. They move around. They do different okay, so things. So you're saying rock, paper, scissors <laughs> here? Is that what you're talking about? Well, if you want to call it rock, paper, okay. scissors. Okay, because right, right. I'm going to say it again. It's, we sent up to Minnesota our backup quarterback three years ago, Andy Dalton, and beat him on I, Sunday night. We sent Cooper Rush on right. Sunday night, our backup quarterback, and it, beat him again. Right. And I, last year, our starting quarterback went up there and beat him 40 to it, three. Yes. 40 yes. to three. That's three years yes, in a row. Yes, because. Right. It's a bad matchup for Minnesota based on everything you do. That's what I'm trying yeah, to tell key, you. Key, key, key in games, you know, we talk skill, we talk matchups, but it's also what else are you dealing with? Minnesota hadn't won a game at home this year. They went into that game. They walked out with the boom box. They, they walked out. They stole San Fran's walk. Now, San Fran couldn't walk out like they walked out because both guys that walked them out was out of the game. That's Debo yeah. Samuel and Trent. Yes. I told you guys that was going oh, to yeah. play a huge role in that football game. And I'm talking about Minnesota came out saying, we the bully. We the bully. I was like, what is this here? How's Minnesota call my day the bully? You know, you know what I'm saying? So, so, so that was a lot. And that's why I'm saying in this game, San Fran got to get back to their Debo without Debo. Because then you got to get back to saying we the bully yep. here. We're, we got to show up on defense because right now we're questioning. Can you get back? I know I talked about earlier that Joe Burrow not going up the field as much. Now, remember now, some of that is played because early on with the calf rate and the problem, he was dumping the ball off quickly. That was, the, that was the whole strategic plan for their offense. Like Skip just said, he's feeling much better. So I hope San Fran is ready for this because he's going no, to be not. trying you to get the ball that. up the field. You ain't hoping that. No, that, that was sort that of a yeah, warning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 that's all. Okay, well, wait a second. It, it, it was so, one of them so, hopes. So, Keyshawn, was... finish this up. If Sam Darnold has to start this game, will he beat Joe Burrow and company? I, I think if their defense comes to play. There's no ifs. I mean, just, well, I'm, I'm assuming the yeah. defense is going to come to play. <laughs> I assume okay. they're going to come to play. They're okay. at home, I believe, yeah. correct? Yes. I think the game's yeah. in. Mm -hmm. In Candlestick or mm -hmm. whatever it's yeah, called, right. San Francisco. The average is um, 16 points a game. Though, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, Cincinnati. I think, I think that if Sam Darnold gets the nod, he's going to beat Joe Burrow in Cincinnati. Okay, good. Got I do believe record. that. I just I, wanted to hear that. I don't have a problem with saying Okay. I don't all have a problem with saying it at all. All right. We'll see you want to bet on it? <laughs> yeah, if Sam Darnold starts, I'll take Joe Burrow. Okay. For a dinner. Okay. Thank good. you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.